like this show and want to make your own, let me tell you about Anchor. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Now you can even add any song from Spotify directly to your episode. The possibilities are endless for what you can create, whether it's music analysis, your own radio show, or something the world's never heard before. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you, so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Hello, you're listening to Got Clutter, Get Organized, the podcast that focuses on helping you create space to attract more money, love, and happiness in your life. I am your host, Janet M. Taylor, and I want to say hello if you're a regular listener, and welcome if you're listening for the very first time. I hope you're having a great start to your week. If you enjoy listening to this podcast, please leave a review, which allows me to continue bringing new episodes each week. Well, it is the beginning of the month, and in this episode, I'm going to be sharing a few organizing tips to help you as we not only enter a new month, but also a new quarter. I will also be sharing my product suggestion, app suggestion, repurpose suggestion, and my book suggestion for this week. And my question for you this week is, what goals or projects will you tackle this month? Just this month. So, I wanted to share with you some days for October, because it's days of the year, so these are days for October. World Habitat Day is celebrated on October 4th. Teacher's Day, let's give a hand clap to the teachers, is also celebrated on October 4th. Bathtub Day is October the 7th. Egg Day, October the 8th. Own a Business Day, October the 12th, Spreadsheet Day, October 17th, and I know somebody who's going to be really celebrating on that day, Chocolate Cupcake Day is on October 18th, mark your calendars, and Elevate Your Life is going to be celebrated on October the 19th, which is what I want to talk about during this time we have together, just the two of us. But before I get to that, I am so excited about the episodes following this one. Um, Three dynamic women. We're going to be talking about how to pivot your career as well as your business, how to attract that ideal client, and how to simplify motherhood. I'm telling you, when you listen to those episodes, you need to get a pen, you need to get paper, you need to get your tablet out and really take some notes on some strategies on how just these conversations can impact your life. But let's talk about moving on to Taylor's tip time in regards to just elevating your life. And elevating your life can be on so many different levels. It could be your environment. It could be your money, it could be your health, it could be your career, it could be relationships. So what, number one, what do you really want? Do you want to be healthier? You know, one of the things I would like to do, again, is walk back and forth across the Ben Franklin Bridge. I did it a few years ago. I feel that I'm healthy enough and I can do it again. So do you want to learn something new? You know, I have made it a vow that each and every year I'm going to learn something new. And, of course, maybe you just want a new environment. Do you want to paint the walls? Do you want to, you know, add some color, to add some plants, or maybe, you know, really take a move? I had a friend who moved from Nevada all the way to the East Coast. She moved some time zones, but she needed a new environment, and she is so energized now. So that's what do you really want? So whatever it is you want, set a goal. Be specific. Make sure it's specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timely. Smart goals. So, of course, you want to eat healthy. Well, you first need to start, you know, maybe with just getting a physical and finding out where you are. 
once you do that, you know, have a discussion with your doctor in regards to any diet, any exercise you need to do. And then you need to sit down and really plan that. You know, I do all my meal planning and meal prep on Saturday so I can eat healthy meals throughout the week. I can also make sure that I exercise several times a week as well as walk several times a week, making sure I drink water, making sure every September, my birth month, I get my exams, which includes a physical at the doctor, eye exams, etc. So set some goals. And that's setting goals. And also that was the goal of being healthy, but then I moved into tip number three, which is create a plan around it. Um, Also, you know, say maybe you do want a new environment. Well, then start doing some planning. That's the first step. You don't necessarily have to get overwhelmed like, oh my goodness, do I have the budget? Do I? And just start getting yourself anxious. No, you can actually begin by just like, where do I want to live? What does the place look like? So start with that. And then number four. So number one is is think about what you want. Number two is set a goal. Number three is create a plan. Number four is do the schedule. So maybe on Saturday afternoons, you're going to get in the car or either just do some foot foot power and just go into different neighborhoods. Maybe on Saturdays, you're going to take a class or, you know, three times a week, I get up and do my exercise. And number five, so you want to Decide what you want. Set a goal. Create a plan. Schedule. And this is a big one. You need to share it with somebody because you need somebody to hold you accountable. So that if you all of a sudden say that you haven't drank any water today, they will hold you accountable. Or somebody who hears you saying you need a new environment and they can say, well, did you look at other places to live? So if you've decided to elevate your life, whether it's eat healthy, take a class, paint and, and add some color in your home, you know, move, learn something new, you know, take these steps to actually help you on your journey to doing that. Well, of course, I want to know if you are ready to live an organized life. And if so, I have virtual sessions, you know, I, you know, you've been working on getting organized. You feel like you just need somebody to guide you from start to finish by providing you with details needed to clear the clutter and get organized. Well, then let's talk so I can share how you can get back on track and get organized with my virtual sessions. All you got to do is go to my contact page, schedule a free 15 minute session. And then, of course, you can either do a 30 or 60 minute session. And a lot of times it's just us talking. First of all, I got to see your space, whether it's video or picture. And then I give you strategies. I'm like, okay, this is how you can maximize this space. Or I can give you step-by-step instructions on how to tackle the project. Because a lot of times you have in mind how you want to tackle it. But I'm going to give you of my years of experience and expertise on the way to tackle the project. So you can get from point A and point B and not get overwhelmed. So check it out. Or maybe you were just so overwhelmed. You're feeling like you just got so much going on with work, business, and life. Let me help you. Because I work with clients so they can get things done without feeling stressed and overwhelmed. And you want to create a life so you can have time to do all the things you want to do without feeling overwhelmed. Again, go to the link, JanetMTaylor.com. Well, of course, I want to thank you for following me on social media, for your likes, your tweets, your sharing. So please continue to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and of course, on Instagram, I'm Janet the Organizer, as well as Pinterest. And of course, I've got a Pinterest page, and I've got all types of boards that can help you. Maybe you want to be better manage your time, or maybe you want to have some goals and set some goals, or maybe you want to live healthy, you need some inspiration, you want to organize your closet, your home, maybe those important paperwork all those things that boards for all of those things and of course be sure to just check out my youtube channel as well i'm beginning to put more things on there as well so of course if you're listening to this podcast and you're a woman and if you're thinking of getting your life organized don't get overwhelmed you can join my facebook group it's getting 
Um, Living Life Totally Organized is a community of women supporting each other on their journey to living an organized life. And of course, some women post a picture and a video. I share them with strategies and they are feeling great. Other women are actually so motivated that they are empowered to take on projects themselves. And what they do is every time they accomplish a milestone, they post those pictures and they get, you know, just that support. So, you know, check it out. And I would love for you to join that community. Well, do you know what time it is? I need to have a little jingle for that. I've been thinking about it. I need to create a jingle. Anyway, I can hear all of you across the country and around the world. Toss it Tuesday. Toss it Tuesday. This Tuesday, I would like for you just to clean out one jump drawer. And if you do clean out that jump drawer, because I do post the Toss It Tuesday on my social media, I would love for you to show me a before and after. That would just make me so happy. So please feel free to do that. So my app suggestion for this week is Lamosity. It improves the memory, increases focus, and it makes you feel sharper. Lamosity. My products this week comes from my Amazon shop. And it is a home rolling storage cart. It's really great. It's slim. It can fit into those small spaces. It's tiered so you can, you know, have a couple of shelves to put things on. It is great. And of course, you can click the link in the show page and it'll take you directly there. And my repurpose suggestion for this week is old towel. Somebody took an old towel and turned it into a rug or records, your old records that you probably never play again and you maybe not want to play again, you can turn them into a table. So check out my repurpose page. And my book selection for this week is from Tabitha Brown. I don't know if you've ever heard of her, but she, um, because of health issues, became vegan. And now she's recently wrote a book. I love following her. She is so inspirational. Feeding the soul because it's my business finding our way to joy love and freedom it's by tabitha brown i'm feeding soul because it is my business finding our way to joy love and freedom and this week quote is also from tabitha brown it's sometimes i look up smile and say that i know that was you thank you sometimes i look up and say that i know that was you thank you by tabitha brown Well, I want to thank you for listening and be sure to share this podcast with your family, your friends, and on your social media network. And again, let me know if you enjoyed listening to this podcast by leaving a review and be sure to visit my website at JanetMTaylor.com. And until next time, have a clutter-free day, but most of all, have an organized week. Take care. Thank you. Organization is a quintessential element of a clutter-free life. Join me as we take this journey together. Along the way, we will find the necessary answers to your organizing dilemmas. My name is Janet M. Taylor, and you are listening to Got Clutter? Get Organized.